Hello fellow haters of the blue and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial we'll be showing you something that is a first for me. We are doing NMM, particularly purple NMM. So let's get cracking. As you can see, I have all my, all my metal parts base coated with a Nagaroth Knight. And for our first step, I'm going to apply Genius Steel Purple. And what I will do with this, this one, this will be a very dramatic jump from our base coat, but I will sketch up where my highlights and reflections will be. This is very useful to do it now and not waiting until later for a couple of reasons. If we place our highlights now, we can see if the metallic effect is working or not. And also, it's very useful so so we kind of reserve the space for our highlights now and not doing it later because we run the risk of uh, running out of space if we don't have that space sketched out first. As you can see, we have our highlights sketched out and the space for those highlights reserved. And I'm really satisfied with how that looks. You can already tell how the reflections are going to be. And it looks convincing. So now I'm going to refine that transition using serious purple. And I will start refining that, doing small slashes in between those both colors. Just creating a mid-tone there, in between those two, between the Nagra of Night and the Gina Steel of Purple. Now that we have our serious purple established, I'm creating a glaze with this consistency. And I'm going to apply that glaze from the Juno Steel purple onto the serious purple in this direction. Now we have serious purple applied and the transition more or less refined. I would take Nacre of Night, make a glaze this, this thin and apply it in between the transition of the serious purple. And I'm, if you, as you can see, moving that glaze towards the Nacre of Night and apply it all over the transition, I will do probably two, three coats of this. Our shadows are now smoothed out with Nagra of Night. I'm going to reapply my highlights. And then this kind of consistency with Genius Stellar Purple. And again, I'm glazing in the highlights in between the serious 
and the genus Teeter. To further add, smooth that transition and also gain back part of that space that was reserved for a highlight. Our genus Teller Purple has been, has been re-established and I'm now going to move into highlight on this. For this I'm adding a Screaming Skull into the mix. Why a Screaming Skull? Because Screaming Skull has yellow and adding yellow into your highlights make the highlight more bright and intense. So I'm adding and doing a 50-50 mix of Screaming Skull and genus Teller Purple. As I did before, I will just be quite rough with this. The paint is not really, really thick, as you can see, it's quite thin. I'm just making small slashes because I quite like the brushed metal effect, so that is just matter of personal taste, of course. With the highlight done, if you feel some of the transitions are a bit harsh again, go back to your glaze of genus still purple and apply it smoothing out your transitions again. With that highlight of Genius Hair Purple and Screaming Skulls done and all the transitions to a point where I'm happy with, I'm going to move into um, a Screaming Skull. This is this is not pure Screaming Skull, it's, but it's almost pure. I just added a touch of Genius Hair Purple in just to keep the, the tones going. This is really thin, and I will just keep pushing my highlights, making them smaller and smaller and smaller. This is a glaze direct. I'm not doing a layer as we did previously, I'm just doing super thin glaze of this. And concentrate it into the most 
uh, into the middle points of each reflection. You can see I, I'm doing small movements, like caches, dots. This would create a bit of texture that will help hide the transition and also reinforce that feel of brushed metal. Our highlight of Screaming Skull is now done, and as you can see I painted all the rivets using Nagroth Knight, and I'm going to highlight them now, using first of all Genosteel Purple. And now our final mix of Receptible and just a little bit of Genosteel Purple. And, and now for our last main highlight, I'm going to use Palette Witch Flesh. You can see the consistency here in my thumb. And I will just do small dots, like lines and dots, just, just in the center of our highlight in the reflections. I will also hit the edges with this, just where it meets that highlight. I will also try to catch the upper part of the rivets, and so on. Our highlight of Palette Witch Flesh is done. Then I'm going to move into the last step. This is white, pure white. And I will use this to make dots. So I will make dot in the brightest point of its reflection, where it hits the borders. I will catch a bit of the ribbit. Again, brightest point of the reflections and also the corners of the edges. I 
put in these ones that are in the dock, but looks really good. With the last highlight of white done, the NMM, the purple NMM effect is done. And this was quite a fun uh, thing to make for me. Also the first time I do NMM and I really hope you enjoy it and, and liked it. And also I really hope you give this a go because you don't know what you can achieve until you just go and do it. So paint bravely and as always, I catch you in the next one. Bye. So um, just a quick pointer because uh, you may see this in the final pictures, but while I was editing the video, I really wasn't happy with the top section of the of the armor. So I went out and changed it completely how that reflections and lights go. So I added this highlight here and I changed the gradient from this side to this side on the top and added a bit more highlights here, just so you know. Do you want to decide what I paint in the channel or have any recipe that you want me to make for you? Then consider Patreon. I have a Patreon account, you have the link in the description below. Patreon helped me do all the cool projects that I want to make and help me improve the quality of my videos. Don't be afraid, no content will ever be hidden behind a paywall, but it's a nice way to help me and you will get something back for your generosity. As I said guys, thank you very much for watching, and a special thank you to Kevin Sulas, Kit Lenard, and Leonard Lindemann for being the coolest persons on the planet. Be like these fine folks, join my Patreon, and take control.